there are certain types of problems where researchers believe we could get an exponential speed up over even the fastest supercomputers if we had access to a large enough and high enough quality quantum computer. Amazon Bracket is a quantum computing service on Amazon Web Services that gives you access to multiple different types of quantum computers. There are certain types of problems where researchers believe we could get an exponential speed up over even the fastest supercomputers if we had access to a large enough and high enough quality quantum computer. A couple of examples of these problems are simulating quantum mechanics and solving certain optimization problems. Quantum computing is a new way of solving problems that leverages some of the unique physics that happens on the quantum scale. Using properties like quantum entanglement, superposition, and interference, we can engineer quantum algorithms for certain problems so that the probability of our quantum computers outputting the correct answer gets amplified and the probability of getting the wrong answer is suppressed. Designing the algorithms is a serious challenge and so is building the hardware needed to run them. This is largely because quantum states are extremely delicate and lose their quantum properties if they get disturbed, say by a stray cosmic ray or by someone bumping into the optical table. Richard Feynman first proposed quantum computing as an idea to simulate quantum mechanics back in 1981. Shor's factoring algorithm was discovered in 1994. That's the one where you may have heard it can break RSA encryption, but don't panic yet. You need quantum computers that are orders of magnitude larger and higher fidelity than the ones anyone has built yet to run that algorithm. Then the first quantum logic gates were experimentally demonstrated in the mid-90s. In the academic world, tons of R&D have gone into both the theory and the experimental side of quantum computing since it was first proposed. Starting in the early 2010s, the tech industry has been investing heavily into quantum R&D as well, since it has the potential to be such a transformative technology. Nowadays, we're starting to see universal gate-based quantum computers with order of 100 qubits. This is the noisy intermediate scale quantum or NISC era. Amazon Bracket launched in 2019 to give people access to multiple different quantum computers through a unified interface in the AWS cloud. We still need a lot of research in order to get to commercially useful quantum computers, and the mission of Amazon Bracket is to accelerate that research by giving researchers in industry and academia access to a range of current generation quantum hardware, plus the software tools they need to make the best use of it. Amazon Bracket is an AWS service that lets you access multiple different quantum computers through a unified interface. The fully managed part means that AWS takes care of setting up the infrastructure to communicate with different quantum devices and manages the classical computing infrastructure needed to process the results afterwards. The way that we think about the service is the way researchers use it. Build, test, run, analyze. First, you build quantum algorithms using the Amazon Bracket SDK, test out those algorithms on quantum simulators, then run on real quantum hardware, and finally analyze the results. Right now, Bracket has a photonic device from Xandu, an ion trap device from IonQ, two superconducting devices from Rigetti and Oxford quantum circuits, and a neutral atom device from Quera. We also give you an access to an array of quantum simulators. So you can access all of these through Bracket's Python SDK, which you can use from your local development environment, like your laptop or cluster that you have access to, or from notebook instances that run on AWS servers, which come with a lot of useful packages already installed. Amazon Bracket is fully integrated with the rest of AWS. So we handle the classical processing of data from quantum computers, which then determines how you update your quantum circuit, which gives new measurement data, and around and around it goes. In a sense, every quantum workload is hybrid because we need classical computers to make sense of the measurement results that come out of our quantum computer. And that will be true even when we have fault-tolerant quantum computers. Hybrid jobs is a feature we'll do a deeper dive on in a future video. Finally, Amazon Bracket is an AWS service, and in the long term, we see quantum processing units, QPUs, as another high-performance computing instance that will one day be integrated into a workflow that might include CPUs, GPUs, and QPUs. If you learned something from this talk, then please consider giving us a like and subscribing to the channel so you can find out when more videos like this are available. And if there's an area you'd like to see us go deeper into, uh, don't hesitate to reach out and let us know. See you next time.